Hey, it's Shannon from iHeartRadio Canada, joined by AJ Mitchell. How are you? Doing well? I'm doing great. Yeah. In sunny California? In sunny California. I actually drove up to Palm Springs last night, so I'm at a hotel right now. Oh. Um, beautiful. There's like, I'm staying at a spa, so there's like this huge pool and like this hot tub, and I'm just going to relax. Oh, <laughs> so. You're living the dream. Well, we'll yes. get through this so you can go and enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, I have so much I want to talk to you about. I'm so excited for your new album to come out, Sky View. Yeah. I really already love the concept of this because I feel like it takes us back to your hometown, to who you really are as a person. Mm -hmm. I know you've answered this many times, but can you explain for those who don't know what Sky View means? Yeah. So to everyone who doesn't know, Sky View is my album that I'm about to be releasing soon. And Sky View is... is a drive-in movie theater in my hometown and this is a place that I used to go to like every summer all the time it was like a place that took me out of the small town that I was in it took me out of this world it, it, it put me in like a new world of like um of like inspiration and motivation um when I'd go there I'd you know watch these movies and the soundtracks would be on and I was like man one day I want my music to be behind there and honestly this was just like an inspiring place for me and um, it was like one of the biggest staple pieces in my hometown because it's such a small town like there's not much to do at all um, other than like going to band of buildings and and just explore <laughs> so um, um, so yeah I just kind of wanted to bring people in to my world and that's Scotty. That's sweet and you say you like want you hear the music and you'd like want to be a part of that do you have like movie soundtracks that you love particularly? Um Yes. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Some of them are really cheesy, but I love, I love the Tarzan soundtrack. It's yes. just so obviously, um, this is going to sound crazy, but Twilight soundtrack is really fucking good. I'm not going to lie. I can get behind it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I mean, I mean, there's, there's so many, there's so many. Yeah, that's good. I like the honesty. That's true. Uh -huh. hey, they both, they slap. That's good. That's sweet. Uh -huh. With the creation yeah. of this album now, what do you find was the biggest challenge of putting it together, if any? The biggest challenge, um, honestly, the biggest challenge was picking the right songs because there's, I have so many songs and honestly, I'm in love with all of them. Like, I just, I love, I, those are like my, my kids, I guess, you know, it's like, those are my songs. Yeah. Um, so the hardest part was like, oh, like we have, you know, this amount of songs on it, we have to take some off, take some, you know, put some on. It was so hard to pick that, honestly. And if that's still my biggest problem, then it's that's not even really a problem. Yeah, that's right. It's like too much of a good thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did you have a goal of like what you wanted the message to be of the album as you were putting it together? Or was it just like, yeah, like you said, pick the best? Yeah, honestly, the the goal was kind of to make it as as me as possible. And and by that means like like eclectic like I love writing all sorts of music like I love pop I love R&B I love soul I love all I love all sorts of music and um I want to intertwine that with um with this album so you know we have ballads we have like upbeat tempos there's such an eclectic sound and um I really wanted to show that on this album yeah do you have a specific song from the album that you're like oh I cannot wait till my fans hear this one I have a couple songs <laughs> yeah specifically <laughs> Growing Pains, another one, maybe. I mean, the list goes on. I'm just so excited. Yeah. So what, do you, excited. what do you hope people take away from the album? I want people to, when people listen to this, I want them to feel like joy. I want them to feel happy. I want them to, like, once they leave this album, I want them to have a positive feeling. I want them to just, you know, be happy. Yeah. And with all the music, that's, that's what I want to feel. I want people to just... Um, I want people to hear the honesty in the music and, you know, feel good about it. Yeah. And you can hear that in the songs that you have out already. And like cameras on really stuck out to me. I just love the messaging of it. I love the song as a whole. Is it, is it true that you um, created this song like three years before it even came out? Yeah. I wrote this like three years ago. Yeah. yeah why'd you hold on to it for so long? Um, we held on to it for so long. I think it was just, I think there was the production. It wasn't there yet. The, or like, it just, actually, I can't, I mean, honestly, this happens all the time where we have songs and it's like, we forget about them or they just sit there and then we're like, oh, 
that one song. And then we're like, yo, we got to release that. Um, just because like I'm constantly writing, there's always new music coming in, coming out. So um, sometimes you just forget about a record and, and then you're like, oh, wait, we got to we got to release that one. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, we've always loved this song. I've always loved it. I, I knew that I wanted to release it. Yeah. What is what's your favorite thing about social media? And then what's your least favorite thing about social media? My favorite thing about social media is learning. Like I, I learned so much about like, you know, what's going, what's even going on, like with politics or what's going on in the world or what's going on in, um, you know, my friends' lives. And um, I mean, you just get a, and also um, I feel like I learned so much in uh, with social media, but I would say what I don't like about social media is um, there's a lot of things I don't like about social media. I'm not going to lie. I, I really, it's, it's, hard for me to um be involved in social media just because like it's just I don't know I don't know maybe I, it's because I've been in the game for so long I've been doing social media for so long I'm just like I don't really want to pull up my phone and record you know what I'm doing I just want to be in the moment and for me to be in the moment I can't be on my phone I want to go back to your family and your hometown and things for for a second. I find that your your family has some like pretty admirable jobs. Like your dad is a nurse. Your grandfather was in the Air Force. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's you're true. you're in music. So were they always really supportive of you wanting to to go into this type of career? Totally. My my parents are, have been very very supportive. Like my entire life of music. Like um, I started writing songs when I was six. I was like playing piano when I was four, and. I think my parents just knew that, that, that I loved it so much. And um, so they like signed me up for piano lessons and that was really just a jam session. But like, you know, they were always, always supportive, always like, you know, trying to let me do my thing and which was, which was music. My mom would always like take me to like karaoke nights or bars and like try to put me out there and like perform your songs and do this. And like, she pushed me a lot, which, which helped for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sweet. Were your sisters like that as well? Yeah, my sisters are very supportive too. Yeah. They actually are really good singers as well. When we were when growing up, like we would always like sing and harmonize. And yeah, it was one of those. And with your dad being a nurse, how's he been throughout the pandemic? That's gotta be tough. Yeah, it's it's been tough, but honestly, he's he's doing fine. Yeah, he's doing good. He's worked through it and he's a hero in my eyes. <laughs> Nice. Um, music wise, who are you listening to these days? Like, who do you, who do you look at and are like, wow, that incredible songwriter or just like admire in that way? Yeah. Someone I've really been listening to lately is Gibeon. I really like his, his tone. I think it's a very unique. Like I haven't heard that tone in like so long, I feel like. Um, and his songs are great. They're so soulful and those melodies are so good. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to Gibeon. I haven't really been listening to too much music though honestly just because like I've been writing so much so when I get home like I don't even want to put music on I just like I either put on like classical piano music or like relaxing music to just like you know calm myself down yeah I get that I host like a radio show on like pop radio so when I get home I'm like the last thing I want to do is like listen to more pop music so it's, it's yeah. just, I'm like I'll put on some like background music yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So just try. <laughs> Totally. AJ, thank you so much for hanging out. It was so nice to talk to you. Yeah, it's so nice to talk to you as well. And congrats on the new album. Can't wait to hear it. It's going to be so good. Thank you. Thank you so much.